What's happening guys, it's X here with Fish and Biscuits, back out here on the San Marcos River. I'm going to be throwing the Ned Rig a whole bunch today. It's super chilly this morning, well not super chilly, but a little chilly, enough for a jacket. Um, I'm going to start throwing these videos into a playlist for y'all, just titled San Marcos River Fishing or something else. Um, but just so that way, like, I'm still diversifying it up for y'all. But I'm also going to keep it organized so that way you have a playlist. So say like if you're about to come into town and you're going to fish this area and you just want to get an idea of like what I use here, it'll be all bunched up into a playlist for y'all. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the water. I got everything all set up. Let's go. Yep, we're on. I'll take it, not bad. Good morning, sir. Fresh on the Ned Sun. Get him back in the water. Let's go. I'm telling y'all, dude. This Ned rig, it's killer. It is killer. And I, I threw it into a current too. It seems like it does real well, like right before a current. But, but yeah, man, the Ned rig. If y'all have any other suggestions too, please let me know. Um, but so far for like small, like I guess finesse type lures, this works well. Ah, oh, tree. See you, buddy. Uh. Oof, that could have been bad. <laughs> that could have been real bad. That's why I always keep that thing down. Look at that guy. Good sized fish. Thank you, thank you. Like I said, the Ned Rig kills, y'all. Just come out here and throw that Ned Rig over here in San Marcos, Texas. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. Probably like pound and a half.
Yep, we're on. Dude, can I not get this fish? There we go. Good sized bass, cannot complain. One mud rig action. Not too bad, not too bad. I hate catching these little baby fish, dude. They will mess you up. This thing will mess you up. God dang. Yeah, I can never get them. You did? Nice job, man. What were you using? A shad? Live bait? Nice. I, I wonder if since there's so much actual like live shad there, they're probably getting that bait because they just chill there. Yeah? Yeah, I don't ever fish slide bait. I just throw plastics. Yeah, this is our first time. We just thought we'd try it. Yeah, nice job, man. You said like four pounds? Uh, a little bit less. Yeah, it's still a good fish, dude. Nice job. Y'all have a good one.
be done with this spot. It's just a lot of small fish. All right. There's a bunch of little fish. I like this spot because it's you're for sure gonna get something. So I had them on the whole time, I guess. <laughs> Not bad, man. A little Ned Rig action. Yeah, dude, I don't know if I can stress this enough to y'all, but the Ned Rig does fantastic on the San Marcos River. I'm going to keep throwing it to see if I can get, you know, something bigger than a pound today. But this guy's probably like a pound and a half or so. Again, let's go. that guy not a bad bass at all man this is probably bass number like five or something heck yeah it's gonna back in the water All right, now let's get out of the trees. Yep, one on again. Dude, what is this, like bass number? 
I don't even know, but. size bass getting back in the water and i'm telling you i'm not catching the same bass like i'm literally throwing them back off to the side and coming back to the same spot that's a new honey pot right there all these are being caught on the net rig dude let's go getting back in the water That's a good sized bass, man. Look at that guy. It's just a Ned Rig, man. I, I pulled out five right here. I'm just letting it sink to the bottom. Like I said, guys, this is probably like fish number five on the Ned Rig. It could just be a really good spot, but like I said, the San Marcos River, and if y'all have better suggestions too, please let me know. But I mean, look at this guy. Like, I've been catching bass, like, around this size for the past 30 minutes on just that little Ned rig right there, that little lure thing. But yeah, this thing kills, dude. Great size bass, man. I'm going to keep casting Alrighty guys, so that's gonna wrap today's episode up. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, we started turning up towards the end, finding that little honey hole full of bass that were hungry and ready to go. Um, they were all decent sized too, man. Uh, I, I would have had probably like five in that one little spot. I know I kept trying to keep track while I was out there. People, people like to discredit the Ned Rig all the time. Um, because they say it can't catch big fish, blah, 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 so and so. It can catch big fish. It's a small hook, so you gotta keep that rod bent, you gotta keep the tension going, and you gotta keep reeling it in. You, the Ned Rig, it's not like most hooks to where it's like a 3 0 or like a treble hook to where it's gonna really get in there, man, because it's a small hook, it's just not. Um, so you gotta keep that tension, and you gotta keep reeling it, and you'll catch a big fish. Uh, but I've come pretty close to my PB with the Ned Rig. So it can be done, man. Um, like I said, with just a watermelon green Z-Man Ned like worm or plastic. Don't get red flake, blue flake, or anything like that. If you're fishing clear water like the San Marcos River, just keep it simple and natural, man, because these fish are finicky. So that's what I caught on to. Um, just like I said, watermelon green, just like that. Um, another thing is please like and subscribe share with all your fishing friends I'm gonna be going as much as I can I know I'm pretty inconsistent with my videos right now but I will get on track and a more consistent posting um, I'm trying to shoot for every Friday I'm having some difficulties with editing right now so once I get that squared away it's go time so yeah thanks for watching fishing biscuits